years and years ago, I was looking at a picture of a Gemini launch vehicle, which is the Titan II, and I was like, why is there just a section missing in the middle? That looks really wrong. And then I learned what hot staging was, so let me tell you about it because it's really cool. <laughs> Rockets typically get their payload into orbit, whatever it is, using stages, which means instead of one giant rocket that has to burn all the way to get up into orbit, they use multiple rockets stacked on top of each other. This adds momentum, but also allows them to take advantage of less dense atmospheres at higher altitudes so they can use different fuel and oxidizer combinations. Everyone has seen a rocket staging because this is one of the most iconic shots of that era of space, and it's been replicated and done on film so many times. When we're talking about the Saturn family of rockets that launched Apollo, staging was very sequential. In this video, for example, Ollage Motors separated the S-4B stage that's on top of it from that spent stage before the main engine fires. That's what we're seeing in this video. The Titan II was a bit of an outlier. This was originally designed as a missile, as was the Atlas and the Redstone. But in this case, this one was designed to be stored in a silo for an emergency launch. And what's really interesting about the Titan II is that it's staged before separation. But if the upper stage fires while well, it's still connected to the stage below it, wouldn't it just catch on fire and the whole thing would just be a giant mess? No, because that's exactly what those holes are. They're actually vents to allow that hot exhaust out. The stage, of course, did fall away. It was separated by explosive bolts. I thought this was super neat when I learned about it, and I also just love tidbits about the Gemini program. So now you know about hot staging.